I am a caricature artist and I draw people all the time in the Orlando Tampa area of Florida and in this video I'm going to show you one of my secret practice methods so that I'm always improving what I do. I call it a secret but to tell you the truth I tell all my friends about it and I'm showing it to you here on YouTube so it's only a secret if you haven't heard me tell you about it yet if that makes sense. I am going to break it down for you step by step, but first I'm going to give you an overview of it, of the whole process. I call this exercise the exaggeration exercise. And the short version of it is that I take somebody's face from a photo and I draw them as a portrait, then I look for the differences, and then I exaggerate it, and then I exaggerate the exaggeration, and then exaggerate the exaggeration again. Uh, there's a little more to it than that, but that is the basics of it. You'll notice that in the third drawing I did from this photo, I pushed the exaggeration a little bit further than I did in the previous two drawings. And I can even go further than this. And if you'll just hang with me for a little while longer on this video, I am going to break it down step by step. But I wanted to tell you about a time when I was doing this exercise and a friend of mine was working with me and he asked me, why don't you just go straight to the exaggerated drawing? Just look at the photo, draw it once in the most exaggerated version. And I thought about it and said, well, I could do that, but that is not the purpose of this exercise. The purpose of the exercise in my mind, and this is all for me, it, it's just to help me get better, is to train my subconscious mind to build a caricature machine. And what I mean by that is I like to imagine that there are an army of artists and engineers in my subconscious, like a bunch of little cartoon artists and engineers, Einsteins and Michelangelo's up there. And you can't just tell them what to do. Like, hey, draw a good caricature. Basically, they watch what I do over and over again, and then they get the message of what I want, and then they build it. And so in this case, I want to draw and over and over again, each time trying to improve the drawing and do many drawings of the same photo, trying to improve. And then eventually, those little cartoon artists and engineers in my mind get the message and they start, they start saying to themselves, hey, this guy wants to build a machine that can draw dynamic caricatures and they get busy doing that. Now for the breakdown. Step one, draw a portrait. I put a photo up beside me and I draw the portrait just like it is in the photo. I do my best just to match it. It's just a photo or a portrait drawn with lines. Now even as I'm drawing though, I'm starting to notice what makes him different from the average person. I'm seeing a trapezoid type shape in his head. I'm keeping that in mind for the next drawing. But right now I'm just, it's just like a coloring book. And then step two, I exaggerate the uniqueness of this face. Like I said, I noticed it was a trapezoid type shape, so I pushed that and made it more trapezoid shape. And then I like to ink it in because I'm also trying to improve my line work. So I ink it in. I notice that his eyebrows on the photo are tilted down. I notice that his nose and the bridge of his nose is kind of combined with the cheeks. So it's all like one shape. And he has a large chin, so I'm exaggerating that. The hair is different, the, uh, the ears, I'm exaggerating everything as I see it. In step three, I exaggerate the exaggeration. I look at the middle drawing, I notice is his head 
trapezoid shape, I make it more trapezoid shape. Was his chin big, I make his chin more big. I keep in mind that if I'm stretching his chin, I have to shrink the top of his head. And then I begin inking it in. If I had angles in the second drawing, increase those angles. His mouth is a little pushed to the left, so I push it a little more to the left. And I am just exaggerating the exaggeration as I see it. This usually takes me about 20 minutes of practice, maybe 15 minutes, but there's more to it. If I have time next, I'll try to draw it a different way. In this little sketch, I'm just simplifying it. But there might be a couple of other ways that I could draw it. Now I'm drawing it again, but in the previous three or four drawings, I stretched out the chin and made the forehead smaller. But I'm thinking, what if I stretch the forehead back up a little bit so that he has an equally large forehead and chin? Let's draw that and see how that looks. And I think there's yet another way I could try it. And finally, if I have time in my practice, I draw it again, but this time without the reference photo. Just put the photo away. I already know the face pretty well, and then just draw it loosely and have fun with it. That is my exaggeration exercise, and I made a New Year's resolution to do this at least once a day and see how much I improve by the end of the year. If this helps you, let me know. Have you been watching the other videos in this series? If so, thank you. And let me know which one was your favorite and what you would like to see me draw next. And there's a link in the description where you can sign up to be the first to find out about books and courses. Until the next video, keep drawing.